The thing about sleep that you might have not known. Now, I've recently started a five-day sleep challenge because I was reflecting in my Garmin app and looking at the total amount of hours that I sleep, and through the course of the summer, they've significantly decreased. Now, I blame the summer for this lack of sleep because yes, I'm probably out playing tennis till late at night, or yes, I'm out front with the kids till 9 or 9.30 p.m. and not realizing it that's, that it's that late, and then I'll go inside and get ready for bed, and then next thing you know, I'm on my phone or I'm watching TV. So the summer, yes, I'm blaming you summer, but I can definitely develop better sleep habits. And I did that through this five day challenge. Now, sleep to me is one of the biggest recovery hacks that you can ever find. And it's the most easiest thing that you can do, but yet none of us actually do it. So reflect on that. How many hours of sleep are you actually getting? Do you actually spend time focusing on getting good quality sleep? So if you are looking to challenge yourself and you do this sleep challenge so that you can actually feel recovered, then go to the blog, which is www.fitclub.fit slash blog and search sleep. And in there, I put a five day sleep challenge. I just wrapped up this five day sleep challenge and honestly, like my brain was completely clear and my body was completely recovered. So in today's video, I'm going to go through the phases of sleep and tell you why they're important and why it's important to get eight hours of sleep. Light sleep, which is stage one and two. Now picture this, you're starting to drift off and that's the beginning of light sleep. It's like a soft transition from being wide awake to entering the world of dreams. Now during this phase, your brain takes a breather, sorting through the events of the day. It's kind of like tidying up your mental workspace, making room for more rejuvenating experiences. It's like plugging your phone into a charger for 30 to 60 minutes. So it's not a complete sleep, it's just enough to keep you going for the next couple hours. So moving from stages one and two, where it's more of a reboot, we're actually moving into the deep sleep. And in the deep sleep, this is where this sleep time is dedicated to your body. More specifically, it's a reboot for your muscles, joints, hormones, and your bones. And so if you work hard, you train hard, then you probably need a lot more deep sleep so that you can repair, recover, and rejuvenate those muscles, bones, joints, ligaments, tendons, and hormones so that they're refreshed and ready for the next workout. The last phase or stage four of sleep is called REM sleep. So hold on to your imagination because it's time to get into the deep REM sleep, the realm of dreams. Now during this intriguing phase, your brain becomes super active. It resembles the buzz of wakefulness. So it might think that you're awake, but you're actually deep sleep. And most of your muscles become paralyzed and they prevent you from acting out in your dreams. So you might have a dream like you're playing tennis and a ball flies at you. And that's when you get that jerking phase. So you got into that very deep, deep REM sleep. But this sleep is super important. So we've moved past the phase of your muscle and your body's recovery phase, and now we're getting into your brain. So this part of REM sleep is when your emotions get sorted out, and this is where your brain gets organized. And that's why most of us, if we're not sleeping enough and we're not hitting that deep REM sleep, well, that's why we wake up and we still feel exhausted mentally or we feel worried and potentially anxious. And so we have to understand that Phase one and two are just reboots. They're not going to give you everything that you need mentally and physically. They're just going to give you a slight recharge so that if you need a short burst of physical or mental, that you gave yourself that reboot and you're able to do small tasks. Now, if you're looking to push yourself more physically, then remember, you have to create the same recovery environment for that. And so you want to be able to get into that deep sleep. Now, if you have a very stressful life or maybe you have high demands on your life where you're always constantly thinking, worried, anxious, whatever it is, then your body needs to soar through all of these thoughts. They need to categorize them into your brain. This way your brain isn't all cluttered. It's like having your computer open and you've got 100 tabs. What this REM sleep does is it says, these three tabs are the most important tabs. And what we've done is we've taken all the 97 other tabs and we sorted them into these three tabs. So if you're not getting that deep REM sleep, which takes time throughout the sleep cycle, then your brain isn't going to be refreshed. 
you're gonna wake up, you're gonna feel the same anxiety as when you went to bed. If you're not getting into that deep sleep, you're gonna wake up extremely sore because your body hasn't been recovering. So stage one and two are okay for short term, but you have to invest in the deep sleep and the REM sleep, which requires it to go through a couple different cycles, which takes anywhere from seven to eight hours. So my challenge for you, if you have a smartwatch, is to go and check your smartwatch. And what you need to do is check your total amount of hours, okay? If you're only getting like four and a half to five hours on average, then you need to for sure bump that up and you need to develop the strategies that's going to allow you to get more sleep. One of the best strategies you can do is go to the blog, fitclub.fit slash blog, and search up sleep, and then there you're gonna see a five-day challenge. I did it for a full five days, and my sleep average went up to seven and a half. My deep sleep went up to two hours. My REM sleep went up to two hours. By the end of the week, it was just so mind-blowing of how well this did for me, and I had a couple other people do the same, and they felt honestly refreshed, rejuvenated, and in fact, they upped the total amount of workouts that they're doing because their body felt great when they woke up. So my challenge to you, go to the blog, look up the sleep challenge, try it for five days, and if you do it, Tag me on Facebook so that I can track your progress and let's have a conversation about how important sleep is to you and what that even that short burst of five, five days did for you and helped you to optimize your life.